Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to an episode of Bull Plays. My name is Bull, and we are going to be checking out Subnautica. Uh, this is a fairly interesting game. Uh, it's a survival building game, but it's single player as opposed to games like Ark or, uh, I guess, DayZ, where it's uh, multiplayer. So, it's a single player, but it does have a, uh, apparently an ongoing story. Attention. Failure imminent. Yeah, watch the opener. Yeah. Launch in three, two, one. That's not good. We're in an escape pod and... Oh! Oh boy. Ow. Alright. Pods on fire. But we will pick up the fire extinguisher. And we will put out the fire. Let's see what we've got going on here. Oh, I did not put out the fire. There we go. I think that's got it. Booting in emergency mode. This PDA is rebooting with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Well, thank you. Blueprints, survival package. If you're reading this and you have survived an emergency evacuation of a capital class ship equipped with Altera technology. Congratulations, the hard part is over. I somehow doubt that. Uh, your PDA has automatically rebooted in emergency mode. This operating system has one directive to keep you alive on a hostile alien world. If that is not possible, it will alert salvage teams to your location, to the location of your remains. Full monitoring of vital signs, blueprints for fabricating a range of essential survival equipment. Onboard camera, microphones, and OCR technology for short-range situational analysis. Cross-compatibility with all all Alterer compliant products. Uh, your personal and work files have been encrypted and may be retrieved at a later date. <laughs> Survival checklist. Administer first aid. Take inventory. Survey the surroundings. La 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 la. Database corrupted. All right. So, okay, excellent. So let's take a quick stock, see what we've got. We've got a fabricator. This allows us to create items. Now I have watched, just as a note, I have played all of about 10 minutes of the game. Uh, I have, however, watched uh, the Nevescast gaming guys uh, do a, a playthrough. So I have some idea of how the game works, although I haven't first-hand played. But, um, a bunch of different stuff we can build. Uh, some of it, though, we cannot build until we get, uh, blueprints. Because our database is corrupted, so we'll need to find those. The rest of this, we'll need to find resources and other materials to craft. Pretty standard for, you know, your standard crafting game. Uh, we have a little med kit thingy here, and it will fabricate a med kit for me automatically every so often. You can see it's at 1%, so it'll take a little while. I think it does like once a day. Uh, we can repair some stuff. And uh, we got a radio and a secondary systems. Solar cells. Fun, fun. Head outside and see what we've got going. Ah! 
So there's our ship that crashed. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Fun. No life signs detected. So, and as a note for those of you that have been following along with my Patreon or uh, just any of watched my older games, you may notice my graphics are superb. Uh, I was able to, through the help of some of my Patreons, uh, purchase a new computer, which was necessary because my laptop uh, that I used to do my stuff on, the graphics card had died, and it was a, it was an older laptop at this point anyway, so it needed replaced. But uh, I got a new a new new uh, PC with a fairly decent uh, video card and memory and all that stuff, so I can actually run these games at a pretty high resolution. And they look amazing, and that's a good thing because this game is all about water. And, uh, this game looks terrible if you don't have uh, a decent. So, alright. So, first things first, we're gonna have to go around and gather some stuff. Pick up a couple of these, I don't know what they're for yet. Um,. Our main thing is we're going to want to find these rocks to start with. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Oxygen. Alright. I currently can only hold my breath for about 45 seconds, which kind of says, oh god, these things. They're harmless, but they're annoying. So, I'm going to need to do a few things here. One of which is I need to catch some of these fish. New creature discovered. Oh, I don't Alien want that. Life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. That big hammerhead thing I think is dangerous, so I want to avoid it if at all possible. New creature discovered. Anyways, the fish. Let's go up for air. Oxygen. I'm gonna need food. I need food and water. And unfortunately, the, the water in the ocean here is not uh, safe to drink. Come here, fishies. Arr. Fish are a pain. My main thing I need to do is find rocks and salvage. That is, I think, those guys. Whoa! I don't know what just hit me. But that hurt! Those things will aggro now. They didn't in the game I was watching play through, but E. New creature discovered. There we go. A couple of fish. Ah, here we go. Some more rocks. All right, and there's something else I need to find, but I think I'm gonna need to go out a little further for that. And I need a scanner for some of this. So right now, we're just desperately looking for materials and fish. There we go. Those vines are what I'm going to need. shark things. Pretty sure they'll mess my world up. But I need these seed cluster things that are on the vines. New 
Pioneer Blueprint acquired. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Alright, we're just gonna head back, because I think I have enough to make my first couple items. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. And it's getting towards dark. Which is fine. Alright. So first things first, we can make ourselves some water. From the, I think, the bladder fish. And then we got a couple of fish we can cook. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Right. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. rubber that I needed, so I need to make sure I'm not. Some titanium. Alright. So now, equipment. I can make an O2 tank. I can make pipe. I can make a fire extinguisher. I can make fins will be good, but I also want to make sure I can make a scanner, repair tool, I need sulfur, I need a battery, right, let's make a knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Some fins. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. gotta wait out my first night. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna keep this short for now. So that was, that's, uh, Subnautica. I just figured kind of take a look at it, and, uh, I will try to do some more recording for the game as I go along, but, uh, I'm not gonna bore you with, uh, all the gathering and stuff, so I'll try to record as I do cooler things and update, uh, as I move along. So, alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Uh, as always, my name is Bull. Please, uh, if you haven't, like the video, subscribe to my channel, uh, and check out my Patreon if you're interested in supporting me as I do more videos, writing, and all kinds of other different stuff. Alright, thanks a lot, and uh, have a good one.